As a child, I had a curious mind. I would take things apart, put them back together, make, I wanted to see how things work, not um, just know the knots and bolts uh, of how things happen. I wanted to know more and more and more, even though academically it wasn't, um, the test weren't there per se, but my mind just kept cranking. I wanted to learn a lot of stuff, and science is one of those things that you just have to keep, you keep learning it. There's no stop to that. I've been dealing with dyslexia for ever since I can remember, and um, I first became aware of it back uh, in my freshman year of college. GCU helped me find my purpose on actually encouraging me on pursuing my dream of uh, becoming a physician. Uh, when I first came here, I was not, uh, I didn't know if I can hack it per se. Uh, having dyslexia, having been in school for a while, because I was 25 when I came, I didn't know if I can really do it. And after being here, talking to professors, grades became really good. They kept telling me, make sure that you keep pushing, you can do it. He's a very hardworking student, you know, very focused in all what, what he was doing and he had um, very specific questions and a uh, very engaged learner. Every professor that I had, if I went into their office, they make sure that you understand this. Oh, not really. Okay, let's go through it again and let's go through it again. And I'm grateful for that. I mean, I don't know if a lot of universities would have that. You could see that he will make a difference that he has a bright uh, future ahead of him. My dream job is actually becoming a pediatric uh, surgeon and take those skills into other places like Africa, Mexico, South America, all those places. I'm here sitting down next to you guys sharing my story because uh, maybe I, I'll impact someone and I'll change someone. They, they can see, oh, a person with dyslexia can do it. I can do it too. That'd be, that'd be awesome.